Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door, and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Good afternoon, 47. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but, uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. The ICA has... Good. I'll wait for you here. Don't take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference room. How's this? Where'd you find that? that uh, uh, never mind. I don't want to know. Let's go. Faber's already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. Hey, man. This guy's yeah, I love me. what you do. I, I don't understand it, but it's great. So, uh, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in. That's all. How are you, sir? Bob Baker, Sean Rose. A group of local children made the cruise of Special acquisition gatekeeper working with you on this job. 
job? <laughs> I'd show you my brag book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh. If you see anything weird, report to us immediately. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about... It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be uh, consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Not a no problem at all. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, let's get back into it. All right. So we know Zukov's planning on revealing his rag of lies to the world in New York next week. I paid off a call girl he frequented, and she let him slip where the bad boy's going to perform his evil deed. <laughs> that guy can't keep his trap shut about it. Frankly, I'm amazed the entire book isn't already online, but I guess that's our luck. Anyway, the downside is that he's going to have a lot of media there. That's all very interesting, Mr. Reddy, but it's not really news to me. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4! For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt industry. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the hey, rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Zukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You. Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Final bit? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guy's working on. You carry on. Damn. Hi, it's me. I've got the new act lined up. You've reviewed the plans. It's very public because the target is public. I want a big audience for this one. With higher extras as props, telling them it's for a team. Getting? Huh? Today. 
I'll talk to you later. Sir, we're gonna have to stop right there. Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development too? More on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, of course. V very nice. <laughs> well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. So, the designs were... interesting. Oh, did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? They were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so that explains the untraditional huh? nature of the work. I like things to be... I heard something. Stand by. I say that spectacle is part of my signature. Very interesting, Mr. Faber. nitrate nanotube with a tensile strength surpassing 33,000 megapascals. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends, but that hardly may Wow. Go and see what that was. Go, go. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends. That hardly makes it explosive. I specifically requested an explosive pen. Step back and let me deal with this. Thanks. Got it. All right. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends. I specifically requested an explosive pen. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's nitro booster didn't even come close. Frankly, it, it seems a, a little We should really check that out. Go have a look-see, please. Okay. Well, uh, coming by a volatile compound. Okay. Well, uh... Coming by a volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is uh, extremely hard. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's nitro booster didn't even come close. Frankly, uh, it, it seems a, a little excessive, Mr. Faber. Of course, that's the whole point. There isn't much spectacle in waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself in the eye with your ridiculous boron nitrate pen on live television, is there? I... Uh, oh... I suppose not. Disappointing. Well, done is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. What? Go and check it out. Come on, go! Once we lose that, well, 
We're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally be discarded. Pallas is top of the line, Mr. Faber. The most advanced robotic system in the world. The AI is world class, too. Yeah, Mr. Knox has designed this to make us all jobless in 20 years. Yeah, I saw his tour come. Artificial intelligence last year. I'm more of a flesh and blood kind of guy. But we could all become indestructible. I certainly hope not. We will be able to enjoy that. <clears throat> the bomb doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extreme. Find out what that was. exactly a discrete container but I suppose if we add balloons to the event spray paint this to look like a helium canister I think we can make this work the most ingenious thing about the active ingredient in Mr. Knox's octane booster is the versatility we can create multiple compounds from this effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it oh so well for instance if you were to require a flashier explosion the Nox burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flames. But if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound, things would change dramatically. After all, it was originally designed to produce colored flames and smoke for drag racing events. Hmm. That is very useful indeed. I have to say, Mr. Yu, I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. I'll head back to the briefing room for a while. I'll see you later. Sir? What way you don't have power? Oh, give me a status on your moon building. gas canister. Yeah. Far-fetched, sure. But they fell for the exploding fire. What? Got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit.
afternoon, sir. Yes, that's right. They think they're watching. 